Hi, thank you for listening. I want to talk about this case of a Florida teacher. Here's the headline right away. Florida ex-teacher gets 22 years for sex with three students. Right? Uh, I'll go through the, the article, but the thing that interests me is the comments from people and how there are still so many people who cannot understand that the law applies to women. They just, they just don't seem to get this, right? They seem to think that women are immune or something from the law. Maybe it's because of the history of justice, where women usually don't get punished. But um, you look at, say, uh, I sold crack cocaine to a 12 year old, right? And I got caught and put in prison. Do you think anybody would, would try to justify my innocence by saying, oh come on, the 12 year old wanted crack to be sold to them, right? Okay, smoking crack or selling crack is illegal all the time, so let's use driving as an example. Let's say 14, 15 years old, I've got a car, and these 15 year olds want to drive my car, so I allow them to do it, and they hurt somebody, they destroy property, they hurt themselves. Do you think anybody would try to justify that by saying, oh, no, I, I, get, I get punished for it by the law? Would they then say, oh, come on, let's... Give, give the guy a break. Th those 15 year olds obviously wanted to do that, therefore he didn't commit a crime. Because I don't think they would. If I had um, sex with a 15 year old, right? I say 15 because in this country that's underage. Um, I wouldn't do that. But, well, because I'm not any 15 year olds, but also because if I was, it's against the fucking law. And I know that if I was caught, I would be put in prison for it because I'm a man and the law applies to me. I wonder if I did do it though, I wonder if people would say, those girls wanted it, right? <sighs> anyway, so Florida ex-teacher gets 22 years for sex with three students. This headline caught my eye right away, because I thought, ex-teacher, 22 years? Must be a guy then. It's not a guy. It's this woman here, there's a picture there. A former Florida teacher was sentenced to 22 years in prison Thursday for having sex dozens of times with three of her students, with one of her twists leading to her getting an abortion. I wish I could go back and remove what I have done, a tearful, as a surprise, Jennifer Victor, 30, said in court Thursday, according to WFTS. I hate what I have done, I wish I could go back and think about the victims before me, but the parents of the victims remained unforgiving. It hurts, one mother told the court. I saw myself losing my son before my very eyes and there was nothing I could do to reach him. Victor had forced her victims, who were all 17 at the time, to lie to their parents about the, the illegal encounters. She also used aliases when texting the boys to try covering up her sex crimes. In a recorded phone call played in court, the ex-English teacher admitted to aborting a pregnancy with one of her victims. WTSP reported. Victor face, faced up to 15 years for each of the counts she pleaded guilty to. Now that's because um, it's a crime. A lot of people don't understand that and before I even carry on any further, right, I'm well aware that the 17 year olds uh, in this situation, I'm well aware that those boys uh, uh, would have wanted this and would have wanted to do it, but they don't make the law. And as I said earlier, what if they wanted to uh, drive a car illegally? Is that alright? Is that fine? Because they wanted to do it. Should we just make laws based on 17 year old boys and say, right, what do you want to do? Right, okay, now it's, it's okay. It's now within the law for you to do that. Smoke? Drink? Ah, sure, why not? Since you want to do it. So, them wanting to do it is completely fucking irrelevant. Because the women, the 30 year old women, should have fucking known better and not broken the law. Just like a 30 year old man should know better not to have sex with 17 year old girls. Because in America, in certain states, in this state, it is against the law. And they should know better. So I'm well aware of that, that you know, people, because I know people will comment and say, Oh, well, come on, 17, I'm sure they wanted it. I'm sure they did. I'm sure every time they had sex, those 17 year old boys wanted it to happen. But they don't make the fucking law, and it's still against the fucking law. And that woman should have known better. 
She was arrested in April 2014 after admitting to having sex in her truck with a student 20 to 30 times in various parking lots. During the investigation into Victor, police learned that she had also had sex with two other students. The earliest incident dates back to 2008 when she resigned from a teaching post in Orange County after allegations of inappropriate contact with an 8th grader, only to be hired at Central Florida Aerospace Academy in a different county in 2011. She had sex with one student on the school's roof. Don't know why they're telling us that, but but anyway, but it says, in 2008 she had inap- allegations of inappropriate contact with an 8th grader and she resigned. Now, let's go back to that time. An 8th grader, I'm not sure, but if it's the same kind of, the way it works here, primary 7, that would be first year here, that would mean they were 12, maybe 13, you know, so it it seems to be more the case, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, correct me on that in the comments, but an 8th grader I think is 12 or 13, so that means it's basically she's going for who she has access to, right, Um, but it's interesting that she resigned after these allegations, would a man have been given the option to resign to avoid these, uh, you know, being punished for, for that? Just saying, probably not. Um, but uh, it, it then goes on to the comments, right? And the comments are very interesting. And as per usual, you have two different types of comments. There, there are, there are, don't get me wrong, there are three types of comments because there are people saying, at last, a woman's being held accountable. Even women are saying it, surprisingly. But the other two kinds of comments you get are, um, oh, come on, she didn't do anything wrong, type of comments. And the other ones from really thirsty men who are only really commenting to let everybody know that they're heterosexual and like to have sex with women. I fucking hate those men, right? I, honestly, I cannot stand men like that. They do my fucking head in, right? Um, you, you get them all the time, you know, like um, Chenk from Young Turks, he's one of them. If he has a story of a man who was raped, he'll say, oh, he's lucky. Just to let everybody know that he likes to have sex with women. We get it, it's not that big a deal. Most men on the planet like having sex with women. Calm down, you're not, you're not unique, you know what I'm saying? Fucking calm down, God's sake. Anyway, so, um, so Greg pops in. It's not like she forced them, it wasn't rape actually it was, it was statutory rape. 22 year is not right, well according to the judge it was right, Um, but it's not like she forced them, again this is completely irrelevant, she broke the law, she is an adult and she should have known better, why is this so difficult for people to understand? But 47 people agree with this guy Greg that it's not like she forced them and 22 years is not right, but here's my guess, if it was a man doing that to his three 17 year old girls, not ghettos, I believe that Greg would not have written that same comment and said, oh come on, give him a break, 22 years is not right. I believe Greg would probably have wrote a comment that went, 22 years is not long enough, he should also have his dick off, or something along those lines. Gabriel comes in, OMG, poor 17 year olds forced to have sex with a teacher. Every kid dream, you should learn to write mate, but every kid dream, well at least he calls them kids. Um, but again, the sarcasm, would the same sarcasm have came from Gabriel if it was a man doing it to get Because I, I don't think he would have found the need to be sarcastic about it. I don't think he would have said, poor 17 year old girls forced to have sex with a 30 year old male teacher. I don't think he would have said that. It's the double standards, you see. That's what bugs me about it. But um, Gabriel there letting us all know that he loves to have sex with women. You're so unique, Gabriel. You're totally a unique individual. Well done. Fucking hell, man. Um, uh, Greg again comes in. I think this is the same Greg. 22 years is overkill. Hell murders don't get that much time. Hell murders? Whatever. Um, But this is another thing that happens in the comments is they take completely different crimes completely different and then say how come that criminal doesn't get that much time for that you know but I mean this woman is a repeat offender she has admitted to doing it over 30 times with one of them she's re- this is a repeat offender we're talking about here this is not some woman who just done it once and got caught this is a repeat offender that's why she got 22 fucking years she was lucky to only get that by the way um because she could have got 45 and again if this was a man that got 22 years would Greg be saying, oh, that's overkill? Or would he be saying, it's not enough? 
Thomas, I went to school at the wrong time. Maybe I could retake 11th grade. Pretty please. There, Thomas there basically saying, eh, I want to be a victim of statutory rape. I totally love sex with women, so I do. So much so that I would love to be a victim of statutory rape. Can I be a victim, please? They just, it's like they don't know what they're saying. Yes, you like to have sex with women. Yes, yes, well done. <laughs> here's, here's a trophy, right? Because you're totally the most unique individual on earth. No man on earth has ever wanted that before. <sighs> Robert pops in. Fire her, make sure she never teaches again. Force her into some kind of treatment for her addiction, but 22 years for a crime against young males who undoubtedly enjoyed every minute of it. Excessive! Yes, but it is a crime. You can put quotations around it all you want. It's a crime that she absolutely was fully aware of committing when she was doing it. She knew it was a crime. Like, if I have sex with a 15-year-old girl here right now, I'm fully aware that it's a crime. You can't you can't say, oh, it's not just a crime. No, it's a fucking crime. God's sake, man. Again, the rules don't apply to women. Oh, you, should, you should give a tweetment. She should get some sort of treatment. She's just a woman. Fucking hell, man. Michael, who ironically works at a place called Special Touch Nursing. I can't believe three 17-year-old lods would open their mouth, well, I would open my mouth, to tell someone else about getting laid. Hell, I was getting laid at 15 and didn't tell anybody. Right. What's the point of your comment? What is the point of your comment? <laughs> it, it, it's the point of your comment to say anything about the crime or is it just to tell us that you got laid when you were 15? There's a wee golf clap for you. Well done. Well done, you got laid at 15. Do you have anything to say about the actual case? Lisa, 17 is today's 25. Hmm. So that would make 12 today's 20? Yeah. Actually, Lisa, 17 is not today's 25. 17 is today's... I mean, let me add this up. 17! Fucking lunatic! Hey, I, I, I'm driving this car and I'm drinking and I'm smoking. Hey, I'm 17, that's today's 25. Try telling that to the police. It was sex ed. No, it wasn't. It was uh, statutory rape. And they didn't have to pay. You don't usually have to pay when you're statutory raped. Now she's paying for sex, not through money. She's paying not for sex, she's paying for a crime. She committed crimes. That's what she's paying for. Our nation is going to hell. Wild killers roam the streets. <laughs> Again, completely different crime. But what killers are roaming the streets? Lisa, if you know of killers that are roaming the streets, you need to inform the authorities. You can't just say killers are roaming the streets. Tell the authorities about it if you know about this then. Fuck's sake. 17 is today's 25. What an imbecile. Michael. 22 years is ridiculous. She is a nymphomaniac. No. She's a criminal. She needs therapy. No. She needs to be punished by the law for the crime she committed like a man would. Do you not think women are is, are equal to men, Michael? Is that why you think she just should get therapy? And to lose her teaching licence forever. But Jesus Christ, two decades. And you wonder why we have the largest prison population? I don't wonder that at all. It's not because we have so many criminals. I think it is. <laughs> I think that's got a lot to do with it. It's because we never let the ones we have out. Mm, yes, you do. Had these boys been on it for one more revolution around the sun, this lady would be looking for another job. Yes, at least you call them boys. But um, the thing is, this lady, who was a teacher in a position of authority, could not wait one more year, could she? She couldn't wait until the earth revolved around the sun one more time. She wasn't willing to wait that long. She wanted to have these uh, boys, when they were underage, in the state she was in, they're underage. That she couldn't wait a year. If she'd waited for a year, this wouldn't be a problem. You know, when they were out of school and not under her authority. But she couldn't wait. It's all on her. And no, she doesn't need therapy. And if she does need therapy, she can get that in prison the way the men get it in prison. Mick and Jane. Mike and Jane. Oh, God. Are you, are you sharing a, a Facebook account? Which one cheated, Mike or Jane? 
she was in her 20s and yet and they 17 not that big an age jump plus 17 year olds know what's up by then do they know what's up that it's against the law for her to do that we need to go after the people messing with young children and take them out of society forever but not these people who get into situations like this teacher did oh so she should be immune from all, all the law okay right she should just do what she wants because she's a teacher she should just do whatever she wants as long as it's not against kids this Mike and Jane doesn't like hmm. she gets her life ruined and that is not in the best interest of society she ruined her own life she didn't get it ruined she done it herself she could have avoided it surely the students parents will feel better after a big payday oh so I see you try to put the guilt trip on them you didn't say they're just out for money and so what if they get a big payday the, their sons were victims of a crime so what if they get a big payday what's that to you the woman who was 30 years old should not have committed the crime she knew it was a crime she shouldn't have done it John says the punishment should fit the crime there are murderers who get lighter sentences than this completely different crime comparing apples to oranges but this happens a lot well the murderers who get lighter sentences um, repeat offenders like this woman was no? oh right ok it is a serious crime but she did not kill anyone oh well I didn't know that's how the law worked <laughs> I didn't I like, you've been selling crack cocaine to 8 year olds for 10 years now but you didn't kill anyone off you go you fucking idiot she has serious psych issues and her sentencing should have taken this into account both wh what psych issues how does she have psych issues what did you hear this I didn't hear about this I didn't read anything about that should have taken this into account both in a number of your sentence but also she should could get the, the necessary help I think what you mean is she should get a pussy pass and not go to prison and get therapy it's funny how women always need therapy but men deserve to get their dicks cut off isn't it in the same situation <laughs> the same situation the men should be locked away get the throw the key thrown away and get their dicks cut off but with women they deserve therapy oh poor women ratting upon now that before I read this comment I want you to just think if this was a man who had done this to three 17 year old girls would ratting upon who's a woman have um, written this comment this sarcastic comment right just just think about that right she wouldn't have I'll tell you that straight out before even read it she wouldn't have written this comment boy it must have been worse than Auschwitz mentioning Auschwitz or Auschwitz I don't I always call it Auschwitz I'm going to stick with that think of the horror and pain the horrible agony these students must have gone through while having intercourse and outer course with this woman many would have preferred a fast stabbing death rather than endure this unspeakable torture I am sure all of them every one of them are still having nightmares about it no wonder none of them was able to get a boner while this lady did her unspeakable acts to them John McCain suffered 1460 days of torture at the hands of Vietnam communists they hung him upside down and made him eat, eat dog do but it was nothing compared to what these four 17 year old students endured I can't even think about it without severe trauma oh god the horror now do you think this woman ratting upon would have written this comment full of sarcasm if this was three uh, 17 year old girls that were victims of statutory rape at the hands of a 30 year old man who had repeatedly committed this offence because I don't think she would have you know you wouldn't nobody would have written such a uh, a sarcastic comment about it but when it's the other way around when it's boys that are the victims ah, they don't matter do they they're just boys so let's just filled with sarcasm let's throw sarcasm at the situation that really helps Vernetta funny if this were a man everyone would be saying throw the book at him that 22 years wasn't enough time especially having inappropriate contact with someone in the 8th grade previously it's a woman and dude saying how she doesn't deserve it and wanting to high five the 17 year old boys it's just ridiculous she got what she deserved and you don't know what this has done to these boys or the families while you're cheering them on finally a comment from her as a woman Vernetta calling it as it is if it was the other way around nobody would be saying this nobody would be nobody would be even trying to justify it nobody Gary 22 years is indeed a joke it's not like she forced them to do it it's, and it's not like they were 12 either 
Well, why would it matter? 12 is the new 20. Kids nowadays participate in sexual behaviour as early as 15, if not earlier. Your point. What this country needs to do is fix its judicial system and give long sentences to repeat offenders or people who committed serious crimes such as drug trafficking, murder, etc. Not to some poor school teacher who just wanted to get off. Oh, she's just a poor school teacher. Oh. Give her like a two year sentence and call it a day. If you think that it's wrong when a 30 year old teacher is banging some 17 year olds, then I think it's wrong and disgusting when two dudes are making out in front of me and then they get to marry one another legally. America needs to open its eyes because shit's turning bad real fast. Good to see you end your comment there with some um, bigotry. Yeah, that that kind of shows what kind of person you are, but uh, you're saying it's wrong for a th it's not wrong for a 30 year old to bang our 17 year old students because she's just a poor school teacher. Aww. Um, but you think it's wrong when two dudes are making out in front of you? Uh, oh, to be honest, I think that's the, I don't like anybody making out in front of me. Take take it somewhere else. But um, but are those two dudes are is one underage and one isn't? I mean, because you need to you know you need to get the situation right. It, it would be just as wrong if he was thirty and one was seventeen. No, still be wrong, you know, in that state. Um, and the one was in a position of authority over the other. It's not a fair comparison. Are the two dudes legally getting off with each other, you know, and I don't know. Uh, but uh, good to see you end your comment with a bit of bigotry there. And and look at the way they justify it. It tries to justify it. Kids nowadays are having sex at 15. So? It, when they have sex at 15 with a teacher, that, that's against the law. That's, the teacher is doing the wrong thing there. I wonder why people can't understand that the law applies to women. <laughs> Tell Geraldo, when I saw 22 years, I naturally assumed the kids were much younger than 17. I naturally assumed that it was a male teacher. It's funny how that works, isn't it? In some states, 15 is the legal age of consent, not in that state. And 17 is almost 18. <coughs> Thanks for telling us that. I didn't know that 17 was close to 18. I didn't know that. Thanks. Thanks for that information. 22 years is way too much and those parents crying about their sons losing their innocence give me a break they had probably been watching porn since they were 14 so flogging the fish since then and maybe even not virgins anymore so it's not like the kids were tied up taken away and held for ransom you can murder someone in cold blood and get about the same amount of jail time this is nuts yes can you murder one person murder one person I mean I imagine if you murder you know, you, you repeat, this is a repeat offence and you murder some different people, what, 20, 30 different people. I don't think you're going to get 22 years, I think you're going to get a lot longer than that. Um, but all of that is irrelevant, whether they watch porn or whether they were tied up or not, it's all irrelevant. The woman committed a crime and is being punished for the crimes that she committed. Why is it so hard for people to, to get this into their head? Women are not, and they're not children. Stop treating them like children. Just treat it like it was a man doing it with, with boys or girls. You wouldn't be saying this then. You wouldn't be saying, please. A lot of these girls were watching porn when they were thirteen. You wouldn't be saying that. You just wouldn't be saying it at all. None of these comments would exist if the, the sex was switched. None of them. Daniel. She committed rape. She was an individual in a position of trust and she repeatedly violated that trust. She is as guilty as any man, any priest or any other individual who committed a crime. If you do not punish her to the fullest extent of the law because she is a female, you have committed the worst case of discrimination possible. I absolutely agree. Um, Bob. A male teacher would have gotten 25 to life. Believe it. I do believe it. So much so that I thought this was a male teacher when I read the headline. Chris, so the guy who escaped from a New York prison last month was serving 25 years to life for killing and chopping up his ex-boss, one person. She gets 22 years for rape. No, no, it's not rape. It's actual statutory rape. <laughs> you don't need to put quotations because it is actually rape. This, people, is what's wrong with the American justice system. What, the two completely separate cases, two completely different crimes get different sentences. How is that wrong? <laughs> How is that? So, so what, what, what's, what should it be then? Should she get less time? 
would a man that done it, should he get less time? Or should he be thrown in jail, the key thrown away and his dick cut off? I say that because that's usually the comments, you know. She cut his dick off, yes! Get it chopped off! When it's a woman, therapy! She needs some therapy, Oh, Fuck off with your double standards. Chris, uh, with two comments, he replies to himself. Now, I don't understand this comment. If it's sarcasm, it fails drastically, right? She wasn't exactly desperate. Why not punish the guys too? Because they're the victims. Why hold them as the innocent party? Because they are. Same double standard as usual, eh, no. And then he says, no wonder women don't trust us. Speak for yourself. Um, uh, going on that comment, on, on those two comments, I can see why women in general don't trust you, Chris. Because you're a fucking weirdo. I mean, what the fuck? Cesar. That's too harsh. It's every male high school student's dream to have sex with his hot teacher. Yes, but that's completely... Wait a minute. Even the gay students? Um, but that's completely irrelevant. It doesn't matter how often they want to have sex with the teacher or how much they want to have sex with their hot teacher. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. They don't make the law. It is against the law for the teacher to do that and the teacher is the one who should know better and not do it because the teacher is the one that's going to be punished. They're the one that's breaking the law. It doesn't matter if they want it. It doesn't matter if the 12 year old kids want crack cocaine. Don't sell them it. Shecky says, victims quotations. They're, you don't need to do that because they're actual victims. They are the victims of this crime. You may not like it, you may not agree with it, but they are. I'm sure they were traumatised for life. What an ass backwards country we live in. Well, they may not be traumatised for life. I mean, they may, and you may disagree with the law, but that's all irrelevant. The fact is, they are victims of this woman's crime. She knew when she was doing it, every single time she'd done it, she knew it was against the law. Every single time. And you defend this woman by saying, basically, that they wanted it to happen. And let's be honest, Shecky, if this was the other way around and it was a man with girls, you wouldn't be saying victims and you wouldn't be saying, oh, I'm sure those girls are traumatised for life. You wouldn't be saying that. You'd be demanding his penis be cut off, wouldn't you? Doug comes in to let everyone know he loves sex with women. Would anyone have her phone number? I wouldn't complain to anyone about it, I promise. Because you love having sex with women, don't you, Doug? Thanks for letting us know that, Doug. We really appreciate it. Uh, now that you've let us know that you like like having sex with women, uh, do you have anything to say about the case? No, no. You just just wanted to let us know that you were heterosexual. Thanks. We were all questioning your sexuality before you commented. Thanks. Joe, 22 years, little much. Those boys going to be bragging for a while. Again completely irrelevant and think about that comment switch the sexes again would that comment exist no but think about that comment have you ever heard any boy boast and brag yes i'm a victim of statutory rape i've never heard that before i've never heard that before but of course that comment wouldn't exist if the sexes were switched j any 17 year old boy who cries rape needs to be locked up. Do I need to say anything about that comment, really? What if a 17 year old boy, he calls him a boy, so I mean, <laughs> and he still can't see what's wrong with us. What if a 17 year old boy was brutally raped by a man? Should he be locked up if he says, I was raped by that man? Is that, is that how it works? G. Or is it only when it's a woman that's doing it that the boy should be locked up you see and then this is why it's a different subject but this is why the suicide rate of boys is so high because whenever they go through something if they dare to say you know i'm being victimized here or i don't like this or, or anything like that this is what they're faced with people like jay coming out and saying god any 17 year old boy who cries rape needs to be locked up the 17 year old boys aren't actually crying rape they are victims of statutory rape whether you agree with the law or not go to go to your local politician and demand the law be changed but you, it's still it's against the law 
Uh, but this is why the suicide rate is so high amongst uh, boys and men, because any time they've got a problem, they raise the issue and they say, you know, I'm a victim here or whatever. People like Jay and all the others, they all come forward and say, my God, you should be locked up for, you know, saying that you're a victim. You should have enjoyed your crime that was committed against you. You should have enjoyed it. You're not a real man. You're not allowed to talk about your problems. Keep your problems to yourself and think yourself lucky that you have to deal with these problems. Because I'm heterosexual and I love having sex with women, so I do. Can you just shut up? Can you, all you guys out there, can you please just put that aside and fucking shut up? And most people are going to assume you like having sex with women anyway. You don't have to say it. I mean, especially when you, your timing, your timing is awful. If you want to just say, you know, I like having sex with women. Okay, fine, thanks. But do you have to, have to make a point of saying it? when it's on, talking about a rape case, when, when it's a, a statutory rape case. Do you, is this when you really have to, your timing is awful? It's really, really awful. <laughs> oh, here we hear about this. This teacher here has had statutory rape. She's been charged with statutory rape against her students. Oh, this is a great time for me to make it clear. I like having sex with women. <laughs> the mentality, ah, it's fucking mad. It's mad. I'll leave a link to the article and you can see the comments for yourself. But this the double standards, the the abuse, the, the men that the boys come under for for daring to suggest they've got a problem, absolutely drives me up the wall. Drives me up the wall. Anyway, thank you for listening. Until next time. Hi, thank you for listening. I want to talk about this case of a Florida teacher. They're the headline right away. Florida ex-teacher gets 22 years for sex with three students, right? Yeah, I'll go through the, the article, but the thing that interests me is the comments from people and how there are still so many people who cannot understand that the law applies to women. They just, they just don't seem to get this, right? They seem to think that women are immune or something from the law. Maybe it's because of the history of justice, where women usually don't get punished. But um, you look at, say, uh, I sold crack cocaine to a 12-year-old, right? And I got caught and put in prison. Do you think anybody would, would try to justify my innocence by saying, oh, come on, the 12-year-old wanted crack to be sold to them, right? Okay, smoking crack or selling crack is illegal all the time, so let's use driving as an example. Let's say 14, 15 years old, I've got a car, and these 15 year olds want to drive my car, so I allow them to do it, and they hurt somebody, they destroy property, they hurt themselves. Do you think anybody would try to justify that by saying, oh, no, I, I, get, I get punished for it by the law? Would they then say, oh, come on, let's... Give, give the guy a break. Th those 15 year olds obviously wanted to do that, therefore he didn't commit a crime. Because I don't think they would. If I had um, sex with a 15 year old, right? I say 15 because in this country that's underage. Um, I wouldn't do that. But, well, because I'm not any 15 year olds, but also because if I was, it's against the fucking law. And I know that if I was caught, I would be put in prison for it because I'm a man and the law applies to me. I wonder if I did do it though, I wonder if people would say, those girls wanted it, right? <sighs> anyway, so Florida ex-teacher gets 22 years for sex with three students. This headline caught my eye right away, because I thought, ex-teacher, 22 years? Must be a guy then. It's not a guy. It's this woman here, there's a picture there. A former Florida teacher was sentenced to 22 years in prison Thursday for having sex dozens of times with three of her students, with one of her twists leading to her getting an abortion. I wish I could go back and remove what I have done. It's so difficult for people to understand. But 47 people agree with this guy, Greg, that it's not like she forced him and 22 years is not right. But here's my guess. If it was a man doing that to his three 17-year-old girls, not ghettos, I believe that Greg would not have written that same comment and said, oh come on, give him a break, 22 years is not right. I believe Greg would probably have wrote a comment that went, 22 years is not long enough, he should also have his dick off. 
or something along those lines. Gabriel comes in. OMG, poor 17 year olds forced to have sex with a teacher. Every kid dream. You should learn to write, mate, but every kid dream. Well, at least he calls them kids. Um, but again, the sarcasm. Would the same sarcasm have came from Gabriel if it was a man doing it to get Because I don't think I don't think he would have found the need to be sarcastic about it. I don't think he would have said, "Poor seventeen-year-old girls forced to have sex with a thirty-year-old male teacher." I don't think he would have said that. It's the double standards, you see. That's what bugs me about it. But um, Gabriel, there, letting us all know that he loves to have sex with women. You're so unique, Gabriel. You're totally a unique individual. Well done. Fucking hell, man. Um, uh, Greg again comes in I think this is the same Greg 22 years is overkill Hell murders don't get that much time Hell murders? Whatever um, But this is another thing that happens in the comments Is they take completely different crimes Completely different and then say How come that criminal doesn't get that much time for that? You know, but, I mean this woman is a repeat offender she has admitted to doing it over 30 times with one of them. She's re This is a repeat offender we're talking about here. This is not some woman who just done it once and got caught. This is a repeat offender. That's why she got 22 fucking years. She was lucky to only get that, by the way. Because um, she could have got 45. And again, if this was a man that got 22 years, would Greg be saying, oh, that's overkill? Or would he be saying, it's not enough? Thomas. I went to school at the wrong time. Maybe I could retake 11th grade. Pretty please. There, Thomas there basically saying, uh, I want to be a victim of statutory rape. I totally love sex with women, so I do. So much so that I would love to be a victim of statutory rape. Can I be it dates back to 2008, when she resigned from a teaching post in Orange County after allegations of inappropriate contact with an 8th grader only to be hired at Central Florida Aerospace Academy in a different county in 2011. She had sex with one student on the school's roof. Don't know why they're telling us that, but, but anyway, but it says, in 2008 she had in allegations of inappropriate contact with an 8th grader and she resigned. Now, let's go back to that time. An 8th grader, I'm not sure, but if it's the same kind of, the way it works here, primary 7, that would be first year here, that would mean they were 12, maybe 13. You know, so it, it seems to be more the case. If I'm right, if I'm wrong, correct me on that in the comments. But an eighth grader, I think, is 12 or 13. So that means it's basically she's going for who she has access to, right? Um, but it's interesting that she resigned after these allegations. Would a man have been given the option to resign to avoid these, uh, you know, being punished for, for that? Just saying, probably not. Um, but uh, it, it then goes on to the comments, right? And the comments are very interesting. And as per usual, you have two different types of comments. There, there, are, there are, don't get me wrong, there are three types of comments because there are people saying, at last, a woman's being held accountable. Even women are saying it, surprisingly. But the other two kinds of comments you get are, um, oh, come on, she didn't do anything wrong type of comments. And the other ones from really thirsty men who are only really commenting to let everybody know that they're heterosexual and like to have sex with women. I fucking hate those men, right? I, honestly, I cannot stand men like that. They do my fucking head in, right? Um, you, you get them all the time, you know, like um, Chenk from Young Turks. He's one of them. If he has a story of a man who was raped, he'll say, oh, he's lucky. Just to let everybody know that he likes to have sex with women. We get it. It's not that big a deal. Most men on the planet like having sex with women. Calm down. You're not. You're not unique. You know what I'm saying? Fucking calm down. God's sake. Anyway, so um, so Greg pops in. It's not like she forced them. It wasn't rape. Actually, it was. It was statutory rape. Twenty-two year is not right. Well, according to the judge, it was right. Um, but it's not like she forced them. Again, this is completely irrelevant. She broke the law, she is an adult, and she should have known better. Why is this a victim, please? They just, it's like they don't know what they're saying. Yes, you like to have sex with women. Yes, yes, well done. <laughs> here's, here's a trophy, right? Because you're totally the most unique individual on earth. No man on earth has ever wanted that before. <sighs> Robert pops in. Fire her, make sure she never teaches again. Force her into some kind of treatment for her addiction, but 22 years for a 
crime against young males who undoubtedly enjoyed every minute of it. EXCESSIVE! Yes, but it is a crime. You can put quotations around it all you want. It's a crime that she absolutely was fully aware of committing when she was doing it. She knew it was a crime. Like, if I have sex with a 15 year old girl here right now, I'm fully aware that it's a crime. You can't, you can't say, oh it's not just a crime. No, it's a fucking crime. God's sake, man. Again, the rules don't apply to women. Oh, she, you should give a tweetment. She should get some sort of tweetment. She's just a woman. Fucking hell, man. Michael, who ironically works at a place called Special Touch Nursing. I can't believe three 17 year old lods would open their mouth, well I would open my mouth, to tell someone else about getting laid. Hell I was getting laid at 15 and didn't tell anybody. Right, what's the point of your comment? What is the point of your comment? <laughs> it, it, it's the point of your comment to say anything about the crime or is it just to tell us that you got laid when you were 15? There's a wee golf clap for you. Well done. Well done, you got laid at 15. Do you have anything to say about the actual case? Lisa, 17 is today's 25. Hmm. So that would make 12 today's 20? Yeah. Actually, Lisa, 17 is not today's 25. 17 is today's... Wait a minute, let me add this up. 17, you fucking lunatic. Hey, I, I, I'm driving this car and I'm drinking and I'm smoking. Hey, I'm 17, that's today's 25. Try telling that to the police. It was sex ed. No, it wasn't. It was uh, statutory rape. And they didn't have to pay. You don't usually have to pay when you're statutory raped. Now she's paying for sex, not through money. A tearful, as a surprise, Jennifer Victor. 30 said in court Thursday, according to WFTS, I hate what I have done, I wish I could go back and think about the victims before me, but the parents of the victims remained unforgiving. It hurts, one mother told the court, I saw myself losing my son before my very eyes and there was nothing I could do to reach him. Victor had forced her victims, who were all 17 at the time, to lie to their parents about the, the illegal encounters. She also used aliases when texting the boys to try covering up her sex crimes. In a recorded phone call played in court, the ex-English teacher admitted to aborting a pregnancy with one of her victims, WTSP reported. Victor faced, faced up to 15 years for each of the counts she pleaded guilty to. Now that's because um, it's a crime. A lot of people don't understand that and before I even carry on any further, right, I'm well aware that the 17 year olds in this situation, I'm well aware that those boys uh, uh, would have wanted this and would have wanted to do it, but they don't make the law. And as I said earlier, what if they wanted to uh, drive a car illegally? Is that alright? Is that fine? Because they wanted to do it. Should we just make laws based on 17 year old boys and say, right, what do you want to do? Right, okay, now it's, it's okay. It's now within the law for you to do that. Smoke, drink, ah, sure, why not? Since you want to do it. So, them wanting to do it is completely fucking irrelevant because the woman, the 30 year old woman, should have fucking known better and not broken the law. Just like a 30 year old man should know better not to have sex with 17 year old girls because in America, in certain states, in this state, it is against the law and they should know better. So I'm well aware of that, that you know, people, because I know people will comment and say, oh, well, come on, 17, I'm sure they wanted it. I'm sure they did. I'm sure every time they had sex, those 17 year old boys wanted it to happen. But they don't make the fucking law and it's still against the fucking law. And that woman should have known better. She was arrested in April 2014 after admitting to having sex in her truck with a student 20 to 30 times in various parking lots. During the investigation into Victor, police learned that she had also had sex with two other students. The earliest incident